Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the third video of analyzing and breaking down TKD sparring. Before starting the match, I want to thank you all for your support in reaching over 100 subscribers. And I hope you will get to 1000 subscribers as soon as possible with your help. I wish to create more videos of analyzing with perfect details also any other area in TKD. Like trainings, techniques, tactics, lifestyles and etc. But without your support it would be difficult to accomplish. So please share these videos with your TKD friends. I hope you enjoy this video. Both going for gold in this okay. In this video we have Christian Magnish in blue from Great Britain and Mirasha Moseni in red from Iran. This match happened in Chiba Grand Prix 2019 minus 68 kilogram weight division. Let's see what can we learn from these guys. They're checking their helmets and trunks, testing. They show respect to each other, shake their hands and Shijak. At the beginning we realized that both are using their front legs but in their own ways, different styles. Two points with a sidekick from Great Britain, Kristen McNish. Nice punch, no point. You can summon up the strength and stamina to go for it here. I'm saying he likes a, a slower pace. Nothing happened. Almost 30 seconds, and Christian owns the center. Okay. Nice headshot from uh, Mirasha Moseni. First headshot was really cool and we can see that since the beginning of the match Christian pulled up his front leg sooner than Mirasha. So this wouldn't let Mirasha reach his uh, opponent front leg to Christian's head. But here we see that he pulled up just a little bit late. Christian did it a little bit late. So Mirasha Defended Christian's near Uchagi with his right hand. Look, he defended his right front leg near Uchagi with right hand and a monkey kick with left leg. Also, Christian falls down and he gets one gum jump. Nice punch, both. They're using sidekicks to reach each other. Not a good punch, no point. It's the footwork first for both men, just shuffling forward, trying to maintain that distance. Nothing important. Just Christian owns the middle and he. Yeah. First headshot from Christian Magnish. He just shows his front leg with a fake trunk side kick, but he switched the technique in a split of a second. Let's see again why Mirashem got that headshot. Yes, you can see that there is two reasons. First, his front leg Mirashem was half opened underneath Christian's front leg. You can see that. And second reason is his head was close to his opponent's leg. Christian falls down again, so he gets the second gum jump. All Mirashem now is doing is that he is defending first kicks with half open side kick and it takes energy and concentration from his opponent. 
Yeah, actually he kicked on Christian's foot on purpose. Nice headshot. Since the beginning Christian was more attacker and Mirashem defender and there is there was nice ax kick from Christian. He did it in unbalanced position and he wasn't even looking at his opponent's face. Let's see again. He was very unbalanced and he wasn't even looking. Mirashem got that headshot because he was running towards his opponent. Let's see again. He was running towards his opponent without any defensive pro predictions and Christian took the advantage. But he was smart enough to push his opponent out of the court so Christian gets another gamjong. Yeah, you can see that almost each 30 seconds he, he get one gamjong, Christian. And maybe it makes trouble for him. Less than 30 seconds. Okay, let's get back. In this scene, attack started with Christian. Then Mir Hashem answered with attack. But Christian kept Mir Hashem back with a side kick. He kept him away and Mirashen finally reached chest to chest with a fake punch, not not very powerful punch. He reached chest to chest to his opponent and used the monkey kick technique. Okay, Christian kicked three times and Mirashem neutralized all three. First with his foot, second he pulled back his head and defended third one with his front hand. Let's see again. One with foot, second he pulled up, pulled, he pulled back his head, back and third one with his front hand. Twisted kick from Mirashem without any score but a powerful punch from Christian. Less than 10 seconds. Okay, round one finished and let's see round one analytics. Blue kicked 35 times, he got 11 points, 2 headshots which is 6 points, 2 trunk shots which is 4 points plus 1 punch. Also he got 3 gum jumps. In this round red he kicked 30 times, he got 9 points, 2 headshots which is 6 points plus 3 points from gum jumps his opponent got. Okay, in first round we saw different techniques and there is just two points gap. Let's see what will happen in round two. Okay, both athletes are trying to get close to each other and use monkey kick headshots. But there is a point, important point I want to mention. Look how Mir Hashem controls his opponent with his hand. He puts one hand, his left hand on the back and his right hand on his opponent's chest. So he can do pull and push together. Look, his left hand is on the back of Christian and his right hand is on the chest. And I don't know why referee don't give him Gamjong. Okay, I believe that Mir Hashem has to get Gamjongs in this scene. Obviously, he's kicking very low repetitively, almost three times. He kicked two times on his opponent's balls and then third one to the thigh. You can see that again. 
One, it was a twisted kick on the ball and a side kick. He pushed his leg on his ball and the third one on the tie. And I think referees has to be pay more attention to these scenes. You can see that they both are using more pushing and pulling and it takes more energy which makes them exhausted sooner and low quality combat. In this round they are more using push and pulls. Nice twisted kick, no point. Just two points gap. Almost all the time Christian starts with a side kick, with a front leg side kick. And he wanted uh, a kick headshot, same as he did in round one. But... Mir Hashem was smart enough to neutralize that headshot. And also Christian knows that Mir Hashem prefers to get chest to chest and kick monkey kick. No point, lots of efforts, no points for each. Mm -hmm. Nice two points with left kick underneath Mirashem's hand. They're both very powerful. Starts with side kick and Mirashem defended. No points, lots of efforts. Forty-five seconds. Oh my god. Christian is mad and angry. He punched on his opponent's neck. Referee gives a gum jump to Mir Hashem. And his coach is protesting. So they're going to check video replay. Okay guys, I will skip this scene because we want to see the result and... Yes, he... at first he, he punched in the trunk but it was going higher okay protest accepted from referees and they removed gamjum from mirashem and gave it to the blue christian just three point points gap no point Okay, let's see again. Mir Hashem got three points again, but how? He controlled Christian's right hand with his left hand. Let's see again. He kept it down for a split of second. You can see that he controlled Christian's hand, right hand with his left hand, kept it down for a split of second, and kicked monkey kick headshot with his left foot. Christian pushes a lot with side kicks, lots of pressure, but Mirashem will not across the borderline. Just 30 seconds left, less than 30 seconds. 20 seconds. Fifth scum jump for Christian. 
Ivan Samaran has the lead. Nice side kick to the trunk from Christian. Just 10 seconds. No points. Two and one. Okay, round two finished and let's see analytics of this round. Blue kicked 38 times. He got four points with trunk and also he got two gum jumps. Red kicked 35 times. He got three points with single headshot plus two points from gum jumps his opponent got. So in this round, 4 points for blue and 5 points for red. Guys, next round is so important and it's going to show who has more physical endurance. Because it's their final match and final round. They spend lots of energy to get here. Let's see what will happen in round 3. Okay, round 3 started and... Here we go, Christian is willing to go forward and attack again and again. Okay, let's see again. Okay, Mirhashem used very clever trick to get that 3 points. Now Christian is aware of Mirhashem's kicking monkey kick headshots. So he blocked it with his hand so Mirhashem kicked the first monkey kick to open his opponent's guard and then after he defended Mirhashem switched another headshot from inside and he collected three points but immediately Christian did a headshot too why because after Mirhashem's headshot he lost his balance so he was less focused and close close to the borderline and Christian took the advantage and kicked the headshot and got three points okay guys we can learn many important lessons and points from these genius athletes number one always be eager to collect points number two never lose your balance number three don't lose your hope when your opponent kicks headshot number four when you're blocked and your opponent is defending everything find a new way to collect points number five that's it taekwondo is not just kicking okay Mirashem kicked his opponent's head but obviously he grabbed his opponent's hand referee saw that and he will remove last three points plus one gum jump two point gaps Nice and technical punch from Mirhashem. He gets close to Christians with a fake half open side kick and then boom. We can see that. He just wanted to reach to his opponent's trunk. Okay, Christian is putting more Mirhashem under pressure with repetitive kicking side kick. Very nice, powerful, and fast punch from Red. There is no point gap. Oh my god. Another punch on the neck. And I don't know why he's so angry. He gets another gum jump, but... That's not enough. Actually, it's not competitive and proper action in this level. So, referee wants to check out. Let's skip. Yes. In this scene, he directly punched in the neck of his opponent. Okay. 
Another gum jump. He got six gum jumps. Till now. Very beautiful two points from Trunk. Very smart reaction from Mirashem. He defended first kick of his opponent with his left leg, then changed it to a point. Let's see again. One and two. Let's see again. One and two. He's so clever. Another headshot. Another monkey kick. Actually, both athletes are grabbing each other's hands or shoulders to kick headshots. But Mirashen was successful in last uh, headshot and he got three points. But this gum jump for red, but I'm not sure it had gum jump. He just pushed with his elbow. He had to get gum jumps for other full action, but not this one. He didn't do any wrong. Just 50 seconds left. Another trunk point with same tactic and technique. Mirhasham defended first kick, then changed it to the trunk. Let's see again. One and two. Nice. We can conclude that Christian's right hand is not good defender of his trunk. Actually, now I want to pause the match and ask you as an athlete or a coach a question. Why Christian is attacking all three rounds? He got the lead many times, but he just attacked again and again. He lost lots of energy. Now just about 40 seconds left and there is no energy to come back and change the results. Okay, he falls down, 7 scum jump, and Mirashem's coach is yelling just keep the distance. Powerful punch from red. They both are exhausted, 30 seconds. Nice twisted kick from Mirashem which, bring, which brings 2 extra points. Okay, now both athletes are full of acid lactics and they're so numb and now we can see that Christian's coach is protesting but I guess he's intending to give a break and a little bit rest time to his athlete. Let's skip. Okay, 25 seconds left and referees didn't accept the protest. Another punch, but he got Christian's right leg with his left hand and leg both. You can see that. He kept it, defended and neutralized Christian's right side kick with both left and left hand and left leg both and punched with the other hand and referee had a proper angle to see what he's doing. So if I was referee, I removed that one point and gave a gum jump to Mirashem. Same technique. This is the third time he's using this one. Let's see again. One and two. Okay, Christian is trying as hard as he can. But he cannot make points, he falls down and he gets another gum jump. And Mirhashem came to the center of the court while referee paused the match. Let's see again. When referee paused the match, he came to the center. Pause the 
five seconds and there's no hope for Christian. Yeah. Round three finished with all the things happened. At first, let's see round three analytics. In round three, Blue kicked 43 times. He got three points with one headshot plus four gum jumps. Red kicked 36 times, six points with two headshots, eight points with four trunks, four points with punches, plus two gum jumps. In round three, blue got five points and red 22 points. Now you can see overall analytics. In three rounds, blue kicked 160 times. He collected 20 points with three headshots, four trunk and one punch. And he got nine gum jumps. But red kicked 101 times. He collected 35 points with 5 headshots, 4 trunk and 4 punches. And he got 2 gum jumps. And thank you guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If so, please like, comment and subscribe. If not, please put your ideas in comment box. Any idea can be helpful. It can help me to improve next videos. Thank you very much and bye bye.